Yes, um, a box of black and gold lacquer. Um, it's in such beautiful condition, I don't believe that it uh, belongs to the Edo period. I think it's a uh, Meiji or even something like Taisho, but it's gorgeous. Um, I'm not getting all... When I look in the camera here, it's uh, very black and gold and beautiful. When I look up, up on the monitor that I've set up in a different, you know, behind it there, it's not so beautiful anymore, so I don't know what to do about that. But all I can say is, I think the color, quality, and condition is great. A lot of the lacquer, if it sits out in the sun, even say four, five, six days, it'll get a sunburn, suntan, from the extremely bright light. Um, I've got one incandescent light on it here. Here's what you get on the sides. There, the front, the top. There's a little tiny, tiny bit. Lacquer buyers always ask about the corners. It's not the easiest thing in the world for me to check. Every corner, there's a little bit. People, I think, obsess over it too much because aren't you buying the beautiful design here? This is a palicon on wheels pulled by uh, oxen or horse. I would think oxen to go slow. And you, if you're high level enough on the way to meet the emperor and daimyo, this is what you sit in. So the hills in the background, I was just looking from the side here. The gold trees are beautifully executed. Lots and lots and lots of detail. Nashiji everywhere. It's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful thing. It's not expensive. It's a lot of fun. It's one of the very last additions to my collection. So if you're interested in this and other magnificently beautiful pieces of gold lacquer, let me know.